Today we're going to be talking about sales, how to close more deals, how to stay calm on the phone when you're doing high ticket, or if you're just selling your normal package, and how to give yourself the best possible opportunity to do coaching full time if that's what you want to do, or how to take your business to that next level that you've always wanted to take it. All right. Literally 10 minutes ago, I had a 10 minute call with a coach that I've never talked to before. It was the first time we ever spoke. The biggest bottleneck in his business right now is his sales calls. He told me word for word, he said, Hey, I get really nervous when I do these calls. I don't really know what to say. I don't have a lot of these calls every month. So I feel like I have to close parents. Otherwise I can't financially do this full time. And I said, yeah, man, I understand. And well, first tell me how many calls do you have every week? Like how, how many parents are you speaking with about your program? He said, well, I don't know, maybe like maybe one person per week, which is just like four people per month. And I said, okay, well, do you think you would be as nervous on these calls if you were speaking to four people per week? And he was like, I don't know. I've never done that before. I've never taught to four people per week, which is 16 calls per month. I said, well, let me stop you for a second. If you're training a kid right now and they're really struggling learning a drill or a concept that, that you're teaching them, what are you going to tell them during the session? Are you going to tell them to just quit or are you going to tell them to practice more? What, what do you tell your clients? He said, yeah, like I'm, I'm going to tell them to train more and, and get until <laughs> get until it's perfect. I said, awesome. Well, with your business, it is the same concept. The only way to improve your finances, you have to have a higher volume of people to talk to. If you are going to just do the same thing every week in 2024 and only have one person per week reach out to you, in my opinion, that's not going to be good enough because those people that are reaching out to you right now are also reaching out to other trainers looking for a solution for their child. So they're not just reaching out to you. They're also reaching out and they're shopping other trainers. Ideally, what we want is we want more people to talk to. I gave him a challenge. I said, hey, over the next month, instead of waiting for people to reach out to you, I want you to proactively reach out to people. Reach out to people in your area. Reach out to organizations. Go to some of your clients' games. Start to meet other parents out at the courts. Don't just wait. Be proactively going out to drum up business. Force yourself to have four times as many calls as you normally do and get back to me in 30 days and let me know how it goes. So that was my assignment for him this morning. And if you're watching this right now and maybe you're struggling to get the attention of parents and, and get them on calls with you and, and sell your program, well, you got to be proactive with your business. You can't just wait around. If you wait around and you're complaining that sales is really hard, well, it's not gonna get any easier if you keep talking to just one person per week. You're not gonna improve with that. It's, it's gonna stay the same. And honestly, it's gonna feel even more challenging because when you're not closing people <laughs> into your program, the weight and the stress and the pressure of having to close people makes every single call more frustrating when you don't <laughs> close. And the easiest way to talk to, to parents, this is what I have found in my business, and I've, I've had a business for now for almost 15 years. It's when you speak with parents and they have the feeling when you talk to them that you're not desperate, you're totally cool because really you just want what's best for the, the customer. When you go into a call with like, stress off of your shoulders, the other person feels that and they want to do business with you. That's just how it works. And the only way to do that though, is if you give yourself a higher volume of calls that you're working through throughout the month. That's kind of my whole point here is if you're just waiting and you're reacting every month, nothing's going to change about your business. If you're proactive, and I mean this in the, the nicest way, if you are hunting, like if people that know me well, they, they know I'm a hunter. <laughs> if you've come across our company, you know that we hunt. We are proactively reaching out to coaches every single day. I'm spending money on ads every single day. I don't wait around. 
I don't like having that feeling. As a business owner, if you're providing for your family or you're pr just providing for yourself, you want to have the feeling when you go to bed at night knowing, all right, X amount of new people that did not know about me today know about me now. And I have X amount of new calls tomorrow. That gives you a lot of confidence with your business when you know people are interested in working with you. And the way you do that though, is you're, you're proactive. You're proactively marketing your business. You're not waiting. Waiting around at the end of the day, that is what kills a lot of trainers' businesses and its industries. They're great at training. They're great at helping kids. All that's awesome, but they struggle with actually marketing and, and, and selling. And if you have that pressure right now where you're like, gosh, I wish I could get more people interested in my business, you need to look yourself in the mirror and ask yourself, well, what am I actually doing every day to drum up new business? Am I doing anything? What is happening right now during the month where like I'm actually putting myself out there? And if you're not doing anything, you gotta do something. Something is better than nothing. And if you're doing a lot right now and it's not producing the results that you want, you're gonna have to probably change your strategy. So if you wanna feel more confident on your sales calls, you need to take more sales calls. I'm gonna feel light on those calls and the people who are the right fit, they're gonna end up working with me. People who aren't the right fit, they're not. And that's it. Case closed, see you later.